Hello, I'm Johnny Tran with the Getty Research Institute. Today, I'm gonna to show you how with just a single piece of eight and a half by 11 inch paper, an X-Acto knife, and a bone folder, you can create this beautiful three-dimensional structure. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use anything with a dull edge, like a butter knife. The technique is based on the teachings of renowned Bauhaus master, Josef Albers. Albers asks his students to play with folds, cuts, and curves while avoiding glue and creating as little waste as possible. It's an interesting challenge. To get started, you want to download the free pattern in the link included and print it onto a piece of 8.5 by 11 inch paper. For our demonstration, we're using 80 pound cover stock. Many printers will be able to accommodate this, but check that your printer supports this paper weight. This pattern is based on an actual design by a Bajo student from around 1928. Images of this design and others are part of our collections here at the Getty Research Institute in Los Angeles. Begin by making cuts along each of the solid horizontal lines. If it's helpful, you can use a ruler to ensure that each cut is straight. When you have finished with all the cuts, use your bone folder to score each of the vertical grid lines. Next, make folds along each grid line in both directions. Albers asked his students to consider whether every element of their design contributed to the effect of the whole. It's something to keep in mind as you go along. Flip the paper over so that the grid lines are hidden. Start working on the top section. Each cut is three columns wide, so the idea is to pinch the cuts in such a way that their center column juts towards you. Follow up this action by reinforcing the folds needed to create a 3D effect. Once you completed the top section, flip the paper upside down and repeat the same process with the remaining half. These patterns, and we have quite a few in our collections, show how a student could create something playful and striking with just a few cuts here and there. Albers also asked his students whether their design tested the possibilities of the materials used. For example, he might ask whether this particular design reveals something about the nature of paper. Is there an element of surprise, discovery, or invention? We think so. If you'd like to try another exercise, click the link on the screen. You can also share your creations on social media using the hashtag MyBauhaus. Get creative and thank you for joining me today.